Hi everyone, I'm Shazgil from RC Corner team and I'm excited to introduce today DJI new LiDAR payload, the Zenmuse L2. Short for light detection and ranging. It is a remote sensing technology that uses laser light to generate 3D models of objects or landscapes. Aerial LiDAR systems are particularly valuable for large-scale topographic surveys because the laser can penetrate through canopies making it possible accurately measure ground elevation and create 3D maps. In addition, LiDAR has many applications in various industries including construction, urban planning and forestry. Back in 2020, DJI introduced the first integrated LiDAR system, the Zenmuse L1. And now we are excited to introduce the Zenmuse L2, the latest highly integrated LiDAR system that is designed for M300 and M350. This system includes the LiveWax LiDAR module, a RGB camera, a high accuracy IMU, and compact in the 3 axis gimbal. Let's take a closer look at what's new with this LiDAR payload. For those working in dense vegetation, the L2 doesn't just offer to improve accuracy but also enhance penetration capability. Beam divergence in LiDAR system refers to the way the laser beam spreads out as it travels away from the sensor. The L2 has significant smaller beam divergence compared to the L1. This means it has much narrower laser beam and smaller laser spot which allows it to gather data past the vegetation. Additionally, the L2 supports up to 5 returns, which increase our capacity to collect the bare earth data among these returns. The first return can provide the height of measured object. The middle return can correspond with different layers of object. And the last return corresponds to the bare ground in densely vegetated area. Multiple return can be easily used to provide information such as height of trees, width of trees crown, and the height of ground layer. Small beam divergence combined with the multiple return capability which makes the Zenmuse a great choice for applications such as forestry resource where a canopy represents a challenge. The Zenmuse L2 offers repetitive and non-repetitive scanning modes that can be used on your scenario. Repetitive scan is ideal for precise topographic survey scan while non-repetitive scans works better for collecting vertical structure data that may require a large field of view. On top of all significant improved the RGB camera with micro 430 CMOS sensor that is nearly double for its predecessor along with a faster interval shot capability. As a result it provides a great true color data. One of the biggest advantages using the DJI integrated LiDAR system is that you can capture both LiDAR and photogrammetry data simultaneously. The DJI Pilot 2 app displays the corresponding overlap ratio of RGB camera and LiDAR scanner. When you adjust the overlap of either sensor, the corresponding overlap for other sensor will be shown in real time. So you can plan a flight to accomplish a data capture of both sensors. When it comes to the scanning efficiency, the detection range of LiDAR sensor play a crucial role. The, the longer detection range that airborne LiDAR supports, the higher the flight altitude can be. This means that within the same scan field of view, you can achieve a larger scan coverage, resulting in a greater efficiency. The Zenmuse L2 has extended maximum detection range of 200 meter at 10% reflectance and 100 lux, allowing you to cover an area of 600 acres on a single flight while maintaining a 4 cm vertical accuracy. Now let's talk about the internal navigation system of L2, which is a really important aspect of any mobile ladder system. With previous L1, you had to power up the drone and wait up to 5 minutes for the IMU to warm up before you could use it. Now with L2, you don't need to do that warm up process. So you can start capturing data as soon as the system is powered on and the fixed RTK connectivity. The DJI Pilot 2 app now displaying the collected point clouds in real time on the map layers. This intuitive view allows you to quickly check the map for any missed areas that may require additional scans. For a large scale project, L2 allows you to merge point clouds that have been collected from multiple flights. You can also view previously captured point clouds directly on the DJI Pilot 2 app making it easy to review the development or changes of your project. Once you have collected data using L2, 
You can easily access the mission quality report directly in the DJI Pilot 2 app. This report will inform you whether the site data collection quality meets the required standards, allowing you to make timely decision on whether the supplement or recollect the data. DJI Terra is software that pre-processes and converts LiDAR raw data into manageable point cloud format. Now the Terra software you can verify thickness of ground layer, perform ground classification and export a digital elevation model. You can also apply elevation control points using Terra to further improve accuracy of your LiDAR scans. This streamlined process provides a complete workflow of surveying and mapping tasks. Overall, the L2 is an excellent choice for a variety of applications. Its improved efficiency, accuracy and range makes it a significant upgrade over its predecessor. With the enhanced LiDAR module and RGB camera, the L2 is affordable sensor that's capable of capturing a high precision geospital data. That's for today. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.